Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Garage Bullion and to another episode of me restoring this flood damaged Porsche 968. In the previous episode we installed the rear bench and we took apart the instrument cluster, replaced the print board and cleaned the dials. If you missed that episode I'll put a link for you up above so you can catch up. But in this episode we are going to tackle the clock as I said in the previous episode and let me show you something else. And that is that my instrument cluster is open again because I was not happy with the quality of the cleaning work I did in there. I have looked at a lot of instructions online also based on your feedback that I can separate the glass from the housing. So while I can see that it's possible to separate the glass from the housing, I don't think it can be done without any damage. Instead of me trying to fiddle that glass off and possibly damaging it and the reason I'm so precious about it is because look at the bottom of this. When last did you see a bezel looking like this with all of its chrome still intact? So I don't want to mess with this too much. I'd rather just clean it and clean it and clean it until I have it perfect. So that's going to happen a couple of more times. But what we are going to be doing in this episode is we are going to start with restoring this clock. And once we have that done, I want to start working on these headlights. So sit back, relax, and let's start working. I've got the minute hand masked off and I've only got the hour hand showing and the dial is also masked off and I'm going to paint it with testers fluorescent orange if you can see that they don't make this anymore so good luck in finding it but I did find this on eBay and I ordered three bottles so um, should any one of you guys really need a bottle um, hit me up and we can probably do a deal um, but anyway, I'm going to start painting up this hour hand, we'll let it dry and then we'll demask and then we'll paint the um, minute hand. So uh, this is reassembled and it's looking really, really good. This is a thousand times better than it was, which means we can move on to the next thing. And that is the headlights. All right. So we're going to start with the headlamp first. And what we need to do is we need to get it into its service position. Um, for that, I need to pull on this handle and push on this glass. So I'll need two hands. So I'll set you guys up and we can start taking this thing apart. So even 15 months after the flood, you can see we still have moisture inside the uh, headlamp. I think this is also the reason for the condensation on the inside. So um, we're going to continue stripping and hopefully we can save this headlight. And if we can't, then I guess we'll buy a new one. Right, so now we have the one headlight in all its component form on the bench. You can see the one part of the outer ring, the other part of the ring, the cap, um, some springs, some nuts, some bolts, and uh, the adjuster mechanism for, for the leveling of the headlight. This is a European thing as far as I know. And then the headlight itself. 
I don't know if you guys will be able to pick this up on the camera, but if you look very closely inside the reflector, you'll see that it's completely blistered up. So um, I need to open this up. I can't just wash it. One of you in the comments said to me that I can separate the glass from the backing if I put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 95 degrees. So hopefully I can pull the glass off. Then we'll sand the reflector and I bought some new chrome paint so we can repaint the insides. And maybe we can get this to be factory fresh again. Let's see. All right, so the headlamp's in the oven. It's at 95 degrees Celsius. In 15 minutes, I'll come back and see if I can pry the glass off the backing. I guess that answers the uh, question about whether we can separate the glass from the housing because um, it can but then you lose a piece of the housing it looks like it's too brittle and too old to do this to so um, maybe this is due to the water damage I have no idea but this seems to just be brittle um, the glass is normally the thing I would have expected to crack which means I have no choice but to order a new set of lights maybe I can get a used set with a Bosch logo in them so if you know someone that has them let me know all right so I've had a night to uh, get to grips with the idea that these headlights will never be inside this car again if there's anyone of you that's currently screaming at the screen saying I could have fixed those lights you're welcome to them uh, drop me a mail and I will uh, with your address and as long as you pay for shipping you can have these lights you can fix them and maybe you can make me jealous once they are fixed so in the meantime I'm going to continue stripping down this front um, taking out the indicator first then we'll get onto the fog lights these fog lights have a lot of salt in them I'm hoping I can actually get them clean uh, if not this is really expensive this is still fairly affordable at 200 euros per shot these guys 500 a shot so um, let's hope I can save them So I'm actually cautiously optimistic about these guys. Um, this indicator looks to be actually quite good, even on the inside. Um, so I think I can clean this out. Maybe I'll put it in a dishwasher and uh, hopefully it'll come out uh, crisp and clean again. And even this guy, I think we'll be able to strip apart far enough for me to actually clean the glass and the reflectors. So I'm gonna set you guys up. We can start cleaning out these lights and see if we can get them nice and fresh again. Right, so after some serious elbow grease and having had these guys in the dishwasher for an hour or two I am happy to report that these are going to be good as new again look at the inside it's all clean and perfect the same goes for the indicators these also went into the dishwasher and they've come out really really well it's by these are by no means perfect there's still you can see there's still some debris and algae in there uh, but I can't get my tools into these corners, but this will be good enough for now uh, I might order a new set of these, but they will do for now for sure 
and I've also reassembled the glass onto the housing again. So this stuff is all good. The glass is all good. Where I need to go work on now are these little reflectors because if you look closely, it's very difficult to capture this on the camera. Maybe this one's better. You can see that the chrome has rubbed off. So I'm going to quickly uh, put this into a new coating of chrome paint. Then I'll reassemble and we can put these guys aside ready to go back into the car. This is what it looks like after I've now sanded it with a 1200 grit sandpaper. I also tried the 1500 but that didn't make a dent in this chrome level. So this is I think the level I need to go for. So I'm going to get this one sanded down as well and uh, then we'll give it a coat of paint. So after several attempts, this is what it ended up looking like. Um, while this is a lot better than the black that was inside these reflectors, this is by no means a mirror finish. And I did try to polish it, but that does not work. It just strips the paint off, so there's no point in polishing this. So I don't know if there's any uh, paint that is better than this. It doesn't look like that to me, to be honest. I use the chrome paint from Motip. I'll put the link in the description and this will definitely uh, be a big improvement. So I think what I'm going to be doing now is just assemble the rest of these lights, make them one again. And you can see I've also ordered a set of new bulbs and I've gone for the White Vision Ultra. Uh, this is also White Vision Ultra. So, so hopefully we'll get a nice crisp looking light once this has all been assembled. There we go, two restored uh, main beams and fog lights, but they look a lot better. You can see they are crystal clear on both sides. So this is gonna look really nice and fresh when I put it back into the car. And so we come to the end of another episode on my flood damage Porsche 968. I have ordered the new headlights for the car, so once they arrive, uh, we will start just cleaning out the mechanisms, uh, uh, making sure the motors work, all those things. Um, the bumper still has to come off. Same goes for the rear bumper, actually, for further deep cleaning. So we are not going to put the lights that are in the box on the bench back into the bumpers yet because I'm expecting a lot of silt and mud still sitting behind this uh, bumper and probably inside the radiator. So we're going to clean that off in another episode. But in the next episode, we are going to tackle the rear lights and the license plate lights. And once we have all of that stuff done, we will start going back into the interior again and start testing all these things that I have now restored. So if you've watched this far, I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. And if these are the kinds of things you like and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really does help me out. And hit that bell notification so that you are notified of my next video, which will be out very soon. Until next time. Goodbye.